Hey, Ted here. So welcome to the VR Tech channel and welcome back after a long while to the True Lenses series, the series where we stick a camera in front of the lenses or a VR headset to see which one is the best, which one is right for you. We're here from my future studio. I'm working on it, as you can tell, but this is not the topic of the video. If you're making a new True Lenses video, it means that we have a new headset to feature. And yeah, it's the guy over there, the Vario Arrow. They just announced, actually not even announced yet, headset from Vario that honestly is a real beast when it comes to visual clarity. So of course, we're going to compare it to the other beast in the PC VR ecosystem. We're talking about the Reverb G2 with a resolution of 2160 by 2160 HI LCD display running at 90 Hz and the well-known Valve Index with a resolution of 1440 by 1600 HI LCD display running up to 144 Hz and of course the Vario Aero with a very particular and unique dual mini LED LCD display with a resolution 2880 by 2720 pixel per eye running at 90 Hz. So buckle up because screen door effect is something from the past. We're not saying it from a while, but let's remember that this is not a science. These lenses, these screens are made for your eyes, not for the lenses of a camera. So take your own conclusions, see what you want to see. But well, I'm going to tell you also some details about it. Overall, and honestly, I have to say that I'm super impressed with the Vario Aero. It's probably one of the best experience I have ever had, visually speaking. So yeah, it's time to get into it. First though, let's remember that we have an Oculus Quest 2 giveaway going on, one each month till the end of the year. Check it out so you can be part of it. So check it out in the description below. But hey, it's now time for the comparison. Let's get into it.
And here we have it, guys. This was the comparison between the Vario Aero, the HP Reverb G2, and of course, the Valve Index. Of course, in the future, we're gonna compare also with some other headsets. We have the Pico Neo 3, that is super interesting indeed, with this new technology of display port. I wanna compare it to, we also have a new update for the Oculus Quest 2 uh, with a new sharpening tool. So absolutely fantastic as well. And I think that that could be an interesting video to make also with that Vario. If you're interested in that, of course, let me know in the comment below. By the way, I wanted to say that this was a very interesting comparison to make and also very challenging to make because we have a spherical lenses on the Vario Aero and it's very difficult to actually find the sweet spot over there. It's not super hard when you're wearing the headset, but you know, the chromatic aberration is just around the corner and probably you noticed all around this video. So I have to say that I'm not super satisfied with the results because it looks much better than what it looks in this True Lenses video. I tried everything, reshooting over and over, but these are pretty much the best results that I had. So you have to trust me a bit when I tell you that this is the best experience visually that I ever had in VR. This guy was something particular. When at the beginning I was saying that the screen door effect is kind of uh, gone completely, I wasn't lying. Using mini LED LCD display, the screen door effect is pretty much impossible to notice. And it's something that you can notice also in this Trillances video when we go into small details. You can still see the little lines in the Reverb G2, but on the Vario are completely gone. And it, it's just amazing because now the limit is not really the screen door effect and the resolution of the headset itself, but this resolution that we output from our PC. It seems like our graphic cards are not enough to keep something like that. The good thing about this headset is it also has eye tracking and so uses Povera rendering following your eyes. And that's absolutely fantastic, but that's something that we're gonna talk about in the review that you can check over here if it's there already, or well, description below or the next video of the channel, right? Overall though, I'm very impressed with this guy. It really delivers when it comes to visual clarity. And yeah, it's a bit expensive, but if you want the best visual clarity experience possible, well, that's the guy over there right now. And it's available for everyone, even if still a bit pricey. Are you really looking for something with this higher resolution? Are you willing to spend this amount of money for an asset to have that visual clarity? Let me know in the comment below. And for now, is all for this uh, coming soon studio, hopefully. Uh, I painted everything and stuff. There's still things around, but yeah, this is gonna be home pretty soon. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah, so far is all. As always, guys, if you like the video, like, if you did like this, is like, subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. And if you really love the channel, the join button down there. You don't have further. Also, the Patreon, thanks to all for the support, of course. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. Also, the giveaway is down there, so don't forget to get part of it because Oculus Quest 2 is still a great headset. And uh, yeah, again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao. And let me know if you want the other True Lenses videos. See ya. Ciao.